Morning everybody. Northeast Piper UK here. Let's give this a, a tamp down. I'm smoking my great British design rusticated bulldog and in it I'm smoking some of the 2013 McClelland Christmas cheer which Mel Harris sent over to us um, I'm glad the camera wasn't rolling when I did my first light because a bit going in the back of my throat and I spent 10 minutes coughing my guts up. But um, oh, this is potent stuff, really nice. I did a video last night um, for some reason I kind of get, I've tried a couple of times to get it to upload but it's not, it's not having it. I don't know if there's something that um, was on there that's either stopped it from uploading or I know they've been doing some work on the phone junction box recently because there's some new houses going up. So um, the internet's been a bit weird the last few days, it's just uh, Sunday just kept going off all the time and so I don't know if they're doing work during the night and it's knocked me internet off and it's screwing around with the uploads so I'm going to redo this one and see if I've got enough left of my mobile data to try and just upload it through 4G or if not I'll try and just get it uploaded during the today so the, the 40th anniversary um, when I opened the bag and smelled it, it actually reminded me of a uh, beetroot. Had that real sort of vinegary sort of smell to it. Um, once I'd sort of left it and gone back and smelled it again, it, it wasn't as potent, so it's probably just sort of with it being vacuum packed, it's really held the flavours in there. So, um, fired a ball up. I was smoking it in my Ben Wade Woodsman and straight away I got the grassiness of the the Virginias and the only thing that I can compare it to um, I would say for me because I really struggled with the retro hill with that really sort of tingly in my nostrils I would say for me it was along the lines of like that haunted bookshop but it wasn't as harsh on the taste though. It was it still had like a, a sort of a a milder taste to it than the, the haunted bookshop. Um so again because I I gave it my first try, I've realised it's gonna have to be a sipper rather than just like chooching on it like a, a freight train. Um but this takes us to the the twenty thirteen. Again it's got that sort of cidery vinegary smell to it when I when I put my nose in the bag there yeah it reminds us of a really nice sort of crisp cider mm, really nice uh, that's what I mean that's what's in here now um, it's not as harsh on the retro hill as the 40th anniversary Still giving us a bit of a tingle there, but it's not as um, it's not as eye watering as as the fortieth. Certainly got a nice taste to it. Mm. 
really nice really really nice again thanks a lot Mel for those and um, I wasn't going to open them but I thought well the, the, the two little baggies I thought I would I would open those because uh, I've never I've been itching to try a McClelland and um, and I thought well I can get those jarred up as soon as I can so I thought well I'll, I'll, I'll add them to my the ones that need to be sort of smoked over the next next few weeks My dry mouth hasn't been as bad. Um, my tongue's been fine. So I, I think with the thing with my tongue was that I must have eaten something sharp over the weekend and it's it's clipped my tongue and made it sore. But uh, yeah, I'm making sure I'm getting plenty of fluids down my neck while I'm sort of smoking at the moment. But anyway, there's another reason why I smoked the 40th anniversary last night is that I got some really good news yesterday. So yesterday was a really good day. Got a wonderful Yabo of Mel. And on Tuesday, I had a really good interview for an engineering company. And I was in there way over two hours. Had a really good, uh, really good look round with uh, the floor supervisor. Um, I did a dexterity text, test and a, a maths test. And I was on the shop floor for pff, way over an hour. Where we talked about um, obviously what I'd done in the past and which was similar to what they were doing where I'm going to be growing. And I got a phone call yesterday at about 4pm and I got the job. So I start on the 21st and um, it's really great. I mean, the, the crazy thing is it's right next door to the, the dump where I used to work. And people who I worked with before used to always say to us, well, why don't you go next door? It's what you've done. and But you always seem to get that, well, I've been here for a while now and I don't want to run the risk of leaving what, I thought it was a secure job and take the risk of going into somewhere new because you've got to go through that trial period if it doesn't work out you know it's but um, so yeah I am absolutely pleased as punch and um, can't believe how quickly it, it came about because I'd I'd sent my CV the following Wednesday and within 10 minutes of sending my CV I got an email wanting more detail of what I'd sort of I'd done and what I'd worked on sort of the machines I'd worked on and um, so got a phone call the following day and literally it was a case of could you come for an interview on the Tuesday morning I have got the job get the start so there we go so I have to say you know again I've, I have mentioned before in a video People of the YTPC probably don't realise what a lifeline you've all been for me for the last several months. Um, it's given us something to sort of focus on and basically, you know, keep my mind ticking over and, you know, just doing, just doing simple videos and having a chat and, you know, letting you know how things are going. The great thing about the job is, is that I'm going to be stationary. It's not a big, huge, open expanse. And nothing's going to be below waist height. So again, I'm not going to have the worry of um, bending up and down every 10 seconds. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And... Um, I couldn't have come at a better time because uh, I've been working out things for what I would like to do for my next giveaway. I'm probably going to do the same as what uh, Mel did and do a 300, 400 and 500. So I'm going to, I'm going to try and uh, I've, I've, I've got an idea of what I want. Um, and I've sort of put things in my 
wish list that I'm, I want to I want to get my hands on and so hopefully um, over the next month by the end well maybe it's by the end of February hopefully that will be up and running and um, I can start getting some stuff out there and show my appreciation to to subscribers of the of the YTPC so again like I say thank you everybody so much it um, it means it means a lot to us it really does and I'm pretty sure there's other people out there feel the same way that you know it's it's a case of you know what has the YTPC done for me and you've literally kept me going and kept me sane and um, yeah long may it continue so thanks a lot for watching I hope this uploads I'm going to sit back and enjoy this and um, I'll keep you updated and catch you all in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.